Hey everybody, we made it out here to Tycon Industries and Stainless Bros. We're gonna be giving you a little tour, picking up some parts in Kiowa. We got Justin here. Take us away, man. What we got going on? So everybody, welcome to Tycon Industries. This is Hush's first time here, so we gave him the grand tour and showing him everything that has to go here in the shop. We got our team back there working hard, getting boxes packed up, getting all the good stuff out to all of our loyal customers and good friends. Uh, take you around through the shop, show you some of what we do here, and show you some more cool vehicles we have hidden in here. And again, for Hutch, welcome to Texas. Thank you, man. Very nice, uh, warm welcoming. So let's see what we got going on. So this is our latest building, or as we call it, Tycon 2.0. Given a little bit of spew, we started from a right at 2,000 square foot building, then Stainless Bros launched, so we just kind of crammed everything in by just pure luck and ingenious planning with the owners of the company. We moved into this building, which is 9,000 square feet in total, which as you can tell, we're already busting at the seams. So we have Tycon 3.0 on this way, taking a walk down some of the aisles. We got everything that we can need to build headers, exhaust, whatever you can think of, we can pretty much cover it for you. So down this aisle, you're gonna have everything from 15 degree bins, 180s, 90s, 45 degree mandrels, pretty much every kind of titanium and stainless turbo outlet flange and inlets you can think of. You're building hanger rods for your exhaust. We actually carry the rubber insulators now. We came out with our own line of those. Spring tab connectors. We now carry all of the Jesse G Sport catalytic converters, so both EPA and non-EPA. So if you have that girlfriend that complains about the smells in your race car, we got you covered for that too. All of the Furex welding cups. So for all my fabricators out there, you can get most of everything on Furex website, but just in case you need to order some stainless, we got you covered on your welding cups as well. So the Pyrex and ceramic cups, all the gas lenses. We even have the little adapter tools to be able to put the gas to put the screens back in the adapt in the cups now. New things that we have just released, which I don't even think Hutch knows about yet, our new electronic um exhaust valves. So we've always had the air actuated ones that control either by vacuum or by boost. Now you can actually rig a controller up to these and control your dump tubes or whatever you want just on the fly. Ooh. It's yeah. stock now. <laughs> They're mainly designed for a lot more of the OEM vehicles. So like Audi's, Porsches, Toyota, the new Supra runs the same exhaust valve actuator, but you can adapt the bracket to work on any other ones. We are in talks of coming up with an electronic system to be able to use them on from back from here, but just a great piece. This is one of the stainless ones, full cast piece. Everything is easily uh, motioned. It comes with all your springs, all your mounting hardware and everything is in the back for you. So. Just give me a call and we'll get you all squared. So the electric motor is an OEM motor that mm -hmm. bolts onto that? Okay, okay. Awesome. Motor, but there are some tricks to it. So they are designed to work on OEM ones, but there might be a little configuring that has to go along with it to get them to work correctly. Mm -hmm. As we all know, newer vehicles are very finicky. They have throw check engine light for any freaking thing you can think of. Yeah. So just be aware of that when installing them, they are not an OEM replacement, but they do work with a lot of the OEM equipment. You go by JC here? Yes. So gotcha. I'm technically the third Justin. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so JB was already taken, so my middle initial is C, so they call me JC. Gotcha. You have to be a really good friend to actually call me JC. So I've known Hutch now for, shoot, four or five years. Yeah. Back four, so. I think I started buying from in uh, 2019. Yeah. And so. so most of the time, if you call, I will answer to Justin, but uh, most people here go by JC. So and this is just the stuff that we have here. We also have an offset lot that we keep extra stuff just because we would be tripping over each other. We didn't have right. right, right. These guys do a great job of maintaining everything, keeping everything put up. As soon as we get trucks in, they're automatically on it, packing stuff, getting it in boxes, getting it up off the floor. So nobody gets injured or anything in here. Tycon industry. So now we're on the titanium side. We obviously carry everything for your titanium welding. So here we were going through some filler rod and making sure it was all up to specs before we send any of it out. Uh, making sure it's cleaned again, even though when it gets to us, it's already clean. We take another step and actually clean it again. The main job for Tycon Industries is we want our fabricators just to get down to doing what they love to do, which is welding. Nobody likes to spend hours of cleaning, prepping, cleaning it again. You've already wasted two, three hours where you could have been fitting everything together and getting it welded. So here we take that out of it. We sit down, we thoroughly clean everything. We make sure there's no dents, no debris, no raggedy pieces on the metal that could hinder you from getting the finish that you want. Here we were just QC and some filler rod. We had a few pieces that came back that was dirty. So we pulled everything off the shelf and just started cleaning it again to make sure that it was ready for you guys to go. One of our favorite features for our guys that like building 
custom cooling tank or making custom plates or making custom brackets. I think we're one of the few companies, if not the only company that offers full CP1 gray titanium sheets. Even though it's titanium, holding them up after a while, they get a little heavy. So we offer everything from one mil, 1.5 and 2.2 thicknesses, as well as if you need to make a bracket, we offer eight millimeter six by six plates. So you can easily draw whatever design that you need to do, send it off to your local water jet company, they'll slice out your brackets and you're ready to go for that play. Other new things over here, because Tycon Industries is such a large company, we do carry all of the Take Aesthetics brand. So we got you covered for our new trailing shields, which are a must if you're doing any kind of fixturing or turntable work. You can set up your torch, have that perfect argon flow all the way back uh, on those wells. Titanium is a very reactive metal, so you want to keep that gas coverage on that heat effective zone as long as possible. So with this guy, you get about another two inches past this of argon coverage to keep those wells nice and shiny the way we like them. We also have our new quick disconnect kits for the purge plugs. If you haven't picked up a set of those, go on the website and check them out. Must have for any stainless or any titanium used to keep that back of that tube nice and back purge. This is the new quick disconnect line because all of us have done it. We've all left the gas <laughs> running on the welder. We've got to cut it off. So mm -hmm. as long as that purge plug isn't connected, there's a check ball in here that shuts it off so you don't lose any gas out of your welder. So saving you guys some money. We don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Nobody likes trips to the. And that the plugs gas. into those um, power caps. Yes. So and I can grab a few sets and we can set up everything and show you how it actually works. So these are the shower head diffusers. Since we are Tycon Industries, we did have to go a little extra baller and make the, the shower head diffusers out of titanium. <laughs> they are out of titanium? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Very nice. We like to make sure all of our stuff gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling when you open it. So, so these are the new shower head diffusers, and this is the quick release version of it. So it has a nice quick disconnect barb on the back of it. So this is a mini diffuser to go in your silicone purge plug before you can put the diffuser lens in there has the quick disconnect so you can easily do one hand action. So if you have your gloves on, just snap it on top, you're ready to go. They actually really cut down on your gas use. A lot of our customers and Hutch is one is notorious for too, doing big six inch dump tubes on diesels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It takes forever to fill up a cylinder on six inch tube. With the way that diffuses coupled with the actual screen diffuser, cuts that fill up time a lot faster, saves you more money because now you're not burning 10 times the amount of gas to fill up the thing, it automizes and gets there a lot quicker. Every kind of little elbows, you know, it's one thing I like is having these these already cut instead of taking a mandrel and cutting it, get a 90 or a 45 already cut, ready to go. Cutting down that five fab time and getting more into the welding time. Especially on titanium, because it's such a hard metal to cut. If you don't have the right tooling or have the knowledge to cut it, you could damage a $130 elbow or a piece of tubing very quickly. Right. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we know from, uh, we know from experience. Unfortunate that, experience. That, yeah. Um, band saws and titanium aren't the best of friends. They do tend to like to divorce each other and mm -hmm. blades go flying and yep, tubing yep, goes flying yep. away. So it's been some trial and error on that, but I will show you in this video, a tool that we offer that will help out on that and really get those nice clean cuts that you want. So down the aisles, we have tubing. So all of our titanium tubing comes in four foot and two foot length up to six inch. The five to six inch pieces only come in the 24 inch long pieces. I might come up more sizes a little bit long later as we grow and get more stuff. But so far we haven't had a need for any eight inch tubing. Transition cones again from five to six, four to three, like in between sizes. One thing about it, if we don't have a size that you guys need, give us a call. We can walk you through how to cut it and get that size that you need. Sometimes you just need a little shaving on the, on the welder and you get what you need to go. My favorite aisle, the muffler aisle. Down this aisle, we do have our new thin oval mufflers. These guys will be perfect for you air ride guys that like to have the car slam like mm -hmm. our truck we have sitting up front. You can tuck them up under frame rail. They're away from everything. You won't get any damage on them. They give a good sound deafening, but you can also pair them with some of our other mufflers and get that perfect sound that you want. We have two and a half inch, three inch ones in both dual outlets, offset outlets, dual into single outlets, any kind of configuration you want, we pretty much cover it for you. This one has pretty much the same stuff from off the stainless side as far as the titanium versus of the valves that I showed you earlier on the stainless side. Mm -hmm. The one thing about Tycon Industries and stainless clothes, pretty much everything that the Tycon side has, the stainless side has as well. We try to mimic both sides of the catalog. So the person that doesn't want to do titanium, want to do stainless, but wants some of the stuff we offer in Ty, we got you covered on that as well. 
pie cuts elbows we have it in both one mil and 1.2 mil thickness we're on the 1.2 mil thickness side now and for my guys that just despise welding pie cuts we do offer a pre-made pre-welded five pack of pie cuts so if you just want the elbow just want to do two wells we got you covered on that as well they're beautiful when they're done but nobody likes welding pie cuts <laughs> Except Hutch. <laughs> Only one psycho, and that's me. Hutch wells like a thousand of them a day. That's <laughs> right. Just burn them up. Now we're down to real muffler options. We do have some new mufflers coming out, especially for my diesel guys. Oh, on the stainless ooh. side. I have a five inch by 30 inch long muffler coming out. I'm waiting to see what it sounds like, but we're doing the stainless version first. The titanium version will eventually trickle down. So my diesel guys, keep an eye out for that. I would say first quarter of 2024. For my Porsche guys and my supercar guys that have no space, I have my little babies. <laughs> little guys. My little two and a half inch by seven. This is one of our bullet resonators, another new feature that we offer. I think I have one here that's open. My shipping crew will kill me for touching this without gloves on, but you won't tell anybody. I'll buy them pizza later. Except on the video. This is an, one of our new little guys. So perfect little resonator for pretty much anywhere you can use a resonator at. I mean, perfect sizing. I've yet to try one of these guys. I have my own projects that I like to experiment on and do different exhausts. Mm -hmm. That's just trying to talk me into doing something crazy and is working. <laughs> I have that effect on people. We never know. In the next couple of weeks, we might be having back down here and do some video of something really crazy that we advise people not to do, but I'm going to do it just to say I did it. You guys stay tuned for that. For now, it's secret. This is another pretty cool part of Tycon industry. So just in case we don't have the exact size muffler that you want, or in my case, I'm a big motorcycle guy, so I needed something with a little more packing in it than what we offer. We do offer your build it own kit. So we started out with just doing round body mufflers. We have now graduated to doing the oval muffler. So if you guys have something you want to design and build yourself, we offer all of the end plates. We have all the perforated tubing. Down there, we have the actual oval tubing that you can use to make the mufflers. So a full six by nine, and I believe it's about 24 inches long. So you can make a longer muffler if you need to. You can weld them together and make an extra long one if you need to go with it. All the fiberglass packing that you could ever need, we offer all over here in house. So. Don't let what you see on the catalogs hinder you from calling us because we do have everything if you wanted to build your own muffler and we can walk you through what you need to do to prep that and build the muffler of your dreams or your vehicle. A lot of great products. I've actually done this myself. It's not difficult, guys. It's extremely easy. It's just a little bit more prep work. I'm nowhere near Hutch's quality of welding. I've only been doing it for about two years myself, but if I can do it, anybody can do it. And mine came out looking great. Well, it's amazing that you're offering the solutions. You're offering the parts that they can do it themselves. You wanted to make a long one, we well, you have the materials to do it. That's one of the things about Tycon Industries we tell everybody all the time. We are a metal supply company, but we actually are a customer service company that just so happens to sell fabrication materials. So when you call into Tycon Industries, you're not going to get an answering machine or just somebody that's like, hey, what's the part number? Everybody here either fabricates or car people or bodybuilders or all kind of nature of things. If you follow our Instagram, you know one of our sales guys looks like the Incredible Hulk. But if it's a question that you have, we're here to help out. 90% um, of my day job is usually on the phone answering questions about turbo flanges or, hey, how can I get this to work? We'll figure it out for you. We'll come up with some kind of solution to help you out. So never feel like Oh, this is all they have on the website. It's not. If you guys came firsthand and looked at everything that was in here, you'd be like, yeah, I can build the whole freaking car out of titanium and stainless right off the bat. <laughs> um, some of the stuff in this box is just extra mufflers that we have stored away. And then the one cool thing about Tycon Industries, we do have our own little fabrication place back here that we all play around with cars. So you'll see some pretty cool gems sitting around in the back. There are things back here I'm going to show you as well, other than the eye candy that sits on the floor something that we really started getting into we do have titanium hardware so we go only in metric sizes from m5 up to i think m10 on certain things full titanium 6alv nuts and fasteners they do hold up to their strength quality these are for mostly for decorative use by law i'm not going to recommend switching out all your suspension components to these so if you have bolts that you want to replace as far as like door hinges and stuff like that, these would be perfect for that. That's my disclaimer on it. Um, I don't, I don't want that. people saying, oh, JC told me I could put this bolt on my suspension arm and then you go down the street and something falls off. They are strictly for dress up. But if you do want to make your own bolts and make your own fasteners, we do offer bar stop. Even though it's tied, that's pretty heavy, but 
uh -huh. all the way up to 50 millimeters thick. So again, you can machine bolts out of it. I've had people do a lot of motorcycle stuff, so they've machined the spindles and things out of it. It does hold them to that weight. That's strictly on what you guys want to do. We do offer it if you want to cut your own stuff. And some of the cool stuff back here, a thousand horsepower Toyota Supra and a car that I wish that I could fit in. I'm six foot two. I don't fit in RX-7s, but it's nice to look at it. A full <laughs> REM Amiya from Japan, RX-7. I wish it was, you would crank it up, even though it's quiet. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's super quiet for what you think it is. But as wild as the paint job and the body. I mean, the rotaries are supposed to be loud. We have another one on the way that will. Loud and, loud and brappy. We have one that's being built right now that will be very brappy. It's yeah. A, it's a four rotor. Ooh. So we have fun around here. And again, since we're Tycon Industries, everything on this Titanium. <laughs> of course, of course. But this is kind of our little work area back here for you guys to check out Miller Welders, our cutting jigs, which I'm not someone practicing some tie. Those wells came from um, our media guy. So if you guys ever look on our website and see who post, we post all the Hutch and everybody's stuff, men, he takes care of all of our media. That was the first time ever doing tie. Wow. Does he have welding experience? No. <laughs> okay. So no no welding experience and nope. right into titanium? Yep. I love it. That's the way we do it. That's the way you learn. Throw to the wolves. So he sat down with another good friend of our company, Brad Harmer with Tick Aesthetics, 10 minutes of pointers and started throwing beads down like that. So anybody can do it. Like it's all seat time. I've learned from my experience, if you have the right mentors, the right people teaching you things, it's just all seat time. Anything that's worth learning is repetitive nature. Like nobody jumps into a thousand horsepower car and, and drives the right the first time. It's all practice. Hats off to men. His first shot and he was, yeah, they they look good. I'm like, wow, <laughs> they look they look good, man. They're not. I mean, you can see his progression from where he first started. I mean, I give him a few more months or so, and then he's gonna be down on it. Yeah, they look they look good. That one's like kind of hot. Now it's kind of warped, but it looks like he was starting to get it. So, oh, yeah. hats off to him, man. Good job. I think he sat down at the welder once before, and he shocked himself, and he walked away from it. And then he came back to sit down. And he's like, I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah, knock it out. So, and he's away at Fabtech right now, learning even more stuff. So I will look out for him. He's going to be pretty good if he sticks with it. Some of our other stuff we have over here that's all grimy because not only do we sell the stuff we use it too, these are our sequence manufacturing cutting jigs. The reason these guys are so important to anybody in the fabrication world, Hutch can attest to this, cutting titanium is a pain in the butt, especially when you get to the larger sizes. Mm -hmm. Saws like to take it off the table. They like to... The... Or in my case, you chunk a blade off. What these guys are designed to do is cradle that titanium nice and tight, give it a nice big bear hug while you have it in your vise, and allow for nice precise cuts. So this is a must in any shop. I have a set in my own personal house. I don't know what I would have done. I hate to sound like that person, like I don't know what I dug without this, but I really don't would have, would have not have known what to do without this. This was a game changer for us. We offer them in three, three and a half, and four. You can fit larger sizes in it if you really play around with it. We also offer the elbow cutter. So if you need to take that little sliver off of the elbow to make it a little different, we offer those as well in both 1D and 1.5D, uh, offering them from inch and a half all the way up to four inches on those guys as well. So a lot of guys that do a lot of sanitary cuts and stuff, you can really pay a lot of homage to those. I film equipment that just hides back here. Nobody actually just hides. That's kind of the gist of this area. I mean, by the time you come back the next time, you should have the new building. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Definitely. Yeah, be Tycon Way. Yeah. Your name and your street? Yeah, it's going to have its own name. <laughs> amazing. Truly amazing. You got silicone couplers here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Silicone. Um, Pretty much anything. Purge line, vacuum line. You can load a whole big thing of what size is this? Yeah, that's 50 feet. <laughs> so we'll take care of you. Um, The new X pipe kit. I wish I had one that was actually set up for you guys to really see it, but we do now offer your own build your own X pipe kits in two and a half and three. So we have the long runners and we also have the short runners. So, yeah. so it's got the crossover already cut into it and you can butt it up and weld it and cutting down on the fabrication time, and, okay. getting more in a welding time. You can have one of the long runners too. So every cut is nice and precise. And like Hutch said, everything is cut, shaved, just 
do like I normally do when I take it out of the packaging because obviously the packaging has a little dust in it. Mm -hmm. Wipe it off again with a nice clean rag. Get it all fitted up. And it really, really makes you kind of spoiled <laughs> when you um, walk around in places like this. And I've only ever used Stainless Bros material and Titan Industries material. So somebody brings me something that I've never, like I actually had to clean. I'm like, what is this foreign yeah, thing? I got to clean this? Like, oh, junk is this. This is going to be for something that's later to be discussed. I can't really say anything because I've been sworn to secrecy and I do live in Texas where gun laws are very lax. So I like to stay alive, but I can show you this side of the, this. A lot of people have always asked us about, hey, making titanium headers, hey, doing stainless headers will be the best way to go. I want the lightweightness, but I know titanium isn't the best for that kind of heat on a, v on a car. So we released this line. This is the Stainless Bros 321 line. So this is all 321 stainless. Uh, perfect for making it. We only made it in certain sizes to be able to make tubular headers. Um, the one benefit about 321 is it does have a little bit more titanium in the molecular structure of it. It's not going to be as light as titanium, but it will dissipate heat almost as well as titanium will. The one thing I love about this, especially when my guys that live up north or into off-road use, it does have a, even though stainless doesn't rust, this has an even higher corrosion resistance to it. So. I just came back from Chicago and man, seeing some of the mufflers that were hanging from other people's cars, like you need to give me a call. We, yeah. we need to take care of that. This line has been out for us about a year, year and a half now. It's starting to make some traction and move great. Um, I've worked with it a few times It welds just like normal stainless does. You can weld this to 304 stainless. You do have to have the 347 filler rod to be able to weld them together. But same practice as doing normal stainless, just back purge it, run your welds, you're good to go. These sizes. Uh, range from inch and a half, 1.625, 188. I think the larger we went up to was three inch for if you want to do the full exhaust. This side over here is again hidden. You see the bare shell, so you know it's something cool coming. Just keep an eye out for PRI if you're coming. You will see what this aisle is meant for. You're going to see some really cool things from the Tycon Industries this year. Just make sure you have your walking shoes on. <laughs> this is a must for anybody who's building tubular header. Next dial down again is just like the titanium side. So you got mufflers, resonators, flip fits are a must in any kind of exhaust. Definitely helps out with that relief. Keeps you from twisting and breaking things that you really don't want to replace. All of our pie cuts on this side, round mufflers, oval mufflers. So these are full cast pieces. So you do have your runoff for your wastegate or you can make your other mounts for the top of your turbo. And one thing I love about all of the stuff, it is all chamfered and also has a relief in it so you can fit your tubing in it perfectly. Do nice, perfect wells around it. Teardrops. So we pre-cut the teardrops for you guys. You don't have to- Really do... making us lazy, man. Really <laughs> taking us lazy. We take the guesswork out of cutting teardrops. I've cut one before. They're not fun for our guys that put turbos in their cars that weigh almost as much as the engine. We know, you know who we're talking about, the pro my guys. Mm -hmm. Big boys. T4 and T6 flanges for especially my LS guys that want to run single turbos. We take the guesswork out of there for you too. We actually have the runners already set up for you and a mount to be able to mount a chassis mounted or mounted to the engine so you don't break this thing off holding those 50 to 60 pound turbos. We even go a step further. We put you your EGTs and your pressure sensor bung holes already in it. We actually make those for you now in T6 and T4 sizes. These are gonna all be divided. We do have an undivided one as well. So twin scroll guys, however you want to do it, we got you covered on that end. We even have, if you need to run a smaller size, we have a two and a half to two and a quarter reducers. So you can bring it down to size if you need to. So we take the guesswork out of there for you. Another product line we offer is the Jesse James Shogun cuts. My Harley guys and my chopper guys really love these guys. They are cast piece pie cuts that snap together. You can buy them as separate pieces and have them sitting on your desk to look all cool. Or you can buy a five pack of them, but they actually are cast pieces that you can snap together and do your pie cuts so you don't have to sit there like all the rest of us and hold them and try to tack them together. But they do have a nice cool little Shogun slash in them. When you do them on like a Harley exhaust or I've had a couple of guys do like the coolant pipes and they're all welded. Oh, the coolant pipe. Those come in inch and a quarter, two inch, different sizes for them, but they do make some really cool things. They are a little on the heavy side, but they do make a really nice showpiece for your show cars. Redesigned our resonators, so we do have a nice smaller body on them, so you can fit them in a nice tighter spot. This one has a three and a half inch body on it. The old ones had like a four inch, so a little bit tougher to fit under a car, but the new guys are a lot more skinny, you can stash them wherever you need to. Same thing with like our titanium plate, we also offer stainless plate. So same thing, you guys need to make a false floor bottom or you need to 
make brackets. We got you covered on that as well. Another thing, bringing it back to our Tycon Industries logo of making sure you guys have everything you need. Not only when you buy your material from us, but we also take care of you on your filler rod too. I know most of my guys have local places they go to, but 90% of our guys, when they buy stuff, we pitch it to them. Selling this and then sticking it in the box together really saves you a good chunk of money. We sell it all in a pound. Again, all pre-clean, all ready to go. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't know if any of my local welding supply stores carry any titanium filler rod. Titanium is a little bit different, but like the stainless, most all places carry it. But it's one of those things that me as a fabricator, I know Hutch probably done a bunch of times too. We sit in there welding and you go to reach for one and you're like, oh, wait, I'm out. Now I got to stop and go do something or you're ordering something and that's the last thing you want is your filler rod. So it's one of those things here, me and the sales crew, we make sure to, even if you don't purchase it, we still like, hey, we have it here for you. You need it. We can easily stick it in the box and ship it to wherever you need it to go. My super baller guys that make the show cars, the full polished muffler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shine. And this is through like a yeah a quarter inch of bubble wrap, and you can still see that. Can only shine. imagine. I've been here the longest, and as we were talking before we started this video, there are things in here that I literally had to take a walk down and be like, "Oh wait, yeah, we have this. Wait, when did we get this in? Oh, that's here now." <laughs> so. I feel bad about it, but it's just the nature of the beast when you have as much stuff as we have. Some things get overlooked, you forget about it. So it's good to take a walk and check out everything that we have again. So we carry not only the mandrel bins and stainless, we also carry everything in, in elbows as well. 1.5 and 1D radius bins with and without legs. So you can get them just a little short elbow by itself. This is a no leg guy here. So this is what, inch and a half. So you can see just how tiny you can get down to them on there. Again, perfectly sanded and clean. You're ready to go. We go all the way up to six inch. So we sell as one of my <laughs> my goddaughter calls it. We have six inch macaroni. <laughs> we have, That's we have, a good one. Uh, some of our five inch guys sitting here. So we try to cater everybody. So we have our supercar guys. We have our motorcycle guys. We have our diesel guys. We have our tractor guys. It's amazing working for this company at the amount of vehicles that come through to people like, hey, I'm building a John Deere tractor. You doing tractor pulling? No, I, I need to farm my property, but I ran out, I need an exhaust. We're currently refilling all of our stainless steel tubing. You guys bought it all out from us, so we have to restock now. All the way up to six inch on stainless straight tubes. Everything is clean, capped off, wrapped, ready to go, so no scratches. If you guys look, took a look down our B stock aisle at the amount of things that we B stock because of a little tiny scratch, you'll say we're probably a little OCD, but we want everything to be perfect for you guys. So these guys go through periodic throughout the day, pull stuff off the shelf, remeasure it, make sure it's correct before we ship it out because we would hate to ship you a four and a half inch tube and you ask for a four inch. Just making sure there's no dings, no scratches, no random spiders. We do live in Texas. Make sure there's no scorpions or anything hiding on the inside of it before we ship it out. Customer service, customer service, customer service. If you want to put it that way, we want to make sure you guys are completely happy. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about having a tin roof, you get to hit a rain when it comes. This is rare for us. <laughs> we got rain. <laughs> I brought it since it rains in Florida. Guys, Thanks for coming along on this tour with me through Tycon Industries. Look for more videos that we're going to be doing. Keep an eye on Hutch's channel. He puts great content out on there. He's a fellow 300ZX enthusiast like me, so you never know. I might come down and do some racing with him. Come down to Florida and have some fun. That's right, man. That's right. Well, thanks again. Thank you so much for giving us the, the tour and all this, supplying us for great products. So we're going to pick up some parts while we're here and do some welding. So we'll see you next time.